1453, the young Sultan Mehmet II conquered the former Constantinople and founded the Ottoman Empire, which would last 600 years. Its political center was Topkapi Palace. Here, the Imperial Council ruled the empire, justice was dispensed, and treasures were stored. Apart from fabulous jewels and military equipment, Topkapi Museum houses important relics of Islam, such as Muhammad's sword and cloak. In the harem, the Sultan's wives competed for his attention, and their sons competed to inherit the throne. A few steps away from Topkapi Palace is the famous World Heritage Site, Hagia Sophia. So I noticed there's a lot of restoration happening right now. Yeah, a lot of restoration goes around Hagia Sophia because it is one of the oldest buildings, not only in Turkey, in the world. It's about 1,500 years old almost. So it requires a lot of restoration almost every year. What can you tell us about this place? Well, I, uh, Hagia Sophia you know, used to be one of the most important church of Christendom, especially being the coronation church of uh, Byzantine emperors and also the seat of patriarchate as well which means, you know, this place was something like the Vatican of Greek Orthodox world. And for almost 1,000 years, you know, so a little bit less than 1,000 years, this was a, a church, you know, so well, the largest church in the world. And in 1453, you know, when the city was conquered by the Ottoman Turks, it was uh, converted into a mosque, and it became the main mosque of the city, you know. Hagia Sophia, or Holy Wisdom, is a masterpiece of Byzantine architecture. It was constructed as an Eastern Orthodox Church 1,500 years ago. The play of light in its interior gives its dome the appearance of floating. When it was converted into a mosque, many of its mosaics were covered with plaster, though they were still visible. These mosaics have since been or are being restored. The challenge of restoration involves creating a balance between Christian and Islamic iconography. Hagia Sophia is also home to a number of cats who quickly let you know that they own the place. Just steps away from Hagia Sophia is the Basilica Cistern, the underground reservoir built in the 6th century. Historians say 7,000 slaves worked on its construction. This cathedral-sized reservoir stored 100,000 tons of water. You may have seen it in the James Bond film From Russia With Love or in the video game Assassin's Creed Revelations. Here's a subject for historical fantasy. What is the head of the Medusa doing here and why is she upside down and sideways? We took a break in the square between Hagia Sophia and the Sultanahmet or Blue Mosque, which continues to function as a place of worship to this day. Today was History Day. Right. We saw um, uh, old monuments, old Top palaces. Yeah, yes. the Kapi Palace, uh, the Hagia Sophia. Which was a, a church and a mosque and now a museum. But in Hagia Sophia, we saw Christian imagery coexisting with Muslim symbols. artifacts, yeah, symbols. Yes. Yeah, and um, it, it reminds us that it's possible for religions to, co to, to coexist peacefully because um, they, were, they were tolerant. It's a lesson that we can learn from the Ottoman Empire. Yes, is it? Um, if not tolerance, let's aim for, you know, acceptance. Right. Um, agree to disagree. After a day of historical and architectural overload, it was time for traditional ways of relaxing. Shisha, or hookah, is tobacco mixed with flavorings like mint or apple and smoked with a water pipe. Smoking has been banned in public indoor spaces, so the citizens enjoy their shisha in outdoor areas such as these. In Turkish uh, society, you know, especially with the arrival of coffee in the uh, mid 1500s, it changed, you know, pe the way you know people get, uh, used to socialize themselves. So that came became like a great way, you know, so to keep people together to enjoy in a, a, a chat or to get socialized. You know, especially coffee and water pipe together, you know, goes went very well, you know, for centuries. Yeah. 
I don't smoke. I don't smoke. How much Turkish delight can a person take? That's up next on Trippies.